What is up guys? It is the Citrus Panda here today. And I'm coming at you with some Naruto Generations uh gameplay here. So let's get into it. I'm using Kiba, who's a pretty awesome character. I actually started using him like two days ago, and he's actually a really good character. So right here I'm doing uh survival. Now I actually found out about this I actually tried this mode like a day ago. I think it was last night. I actually figured out that this was a, a little bit different than the previous Naruto games that I've played. In fact, I've only played a, one other Naruto game, and that was for the GameCube. And how that worked was you just press survival and you went as far as you could. Uh, whereas with this one, you basically start with introductory survival, like with uh, fighting maybe one or two people, and then continuing on to like beginner, which is where I am actually playing in this video, and a couple other ones. So. Later on, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get hard because after beginner, there's like three more after that, and the one I'm at now, at the time of recording this video, because I've done like three more after this one, I'm at a point where there's like eight people, which isn't really that big of a deal because, I mean, they're not that good. Uh, but anyways, I'm using Kiba. He is pretty awesome. I, I like his jutsus and I like his combos. I don't know, I, I really like his combo, how he attacks like a dog. And I like how he uses uh, Akamaru, or his dog, to uh, help him fight with like Fang over Fang. And that was a, his um, ultimate jutsu is pretty awesome as well. So, I do want to tell you guys, I am now on spring break, and hopefully I will be able to make more videos. Um, that is debatable. I don't know. I mean, I really want to start making more videos. But it's like, I wake up, I go to school, I go to track, I come home, and it's like I'm tired, uh, sometimes I get my shower when I get home, or otherwise I get it in the morning, depending on if I'm like muddy from track or whatever, but, yeah, I mean, it's like, boom, I don't really, you know, I come home and I don't really feel like making a video so much, but it's spring break, track is over until Monday, I do want to talk about that, I guess I'll talk about a little bit about my uh, track today. So, uh, pretty fun. I, I had a pretty great day today, actually. Uh, my classroom won this contest to go bowling. I went bowling, it was pretty fun. Uh, so I got to skip, like, I don't, even, I don't know, like, three periods, I think, or four, three or four periods. Uh, which was pretty fun. Um, and then, after that, we went to track practice, and we had to do, uh, time trials. Now, uh, the 4x1 team and the 4x4 team we were doing trials for today. Personally, I wasn't really too worried about the 4x1 team. I knew I probably wasn't going to make it. I mean, I'm fast, but the other people on the 4x1 team, you know, like those people who have, like, spikes and those people who are really good are obviously going to be on the 4x1 team. And, I mean, I got, like, a 14.7 or something, which is actually pretty bad, but, hey. Um, although, on the four by, uh, the 400 meter uh, time trial uh, to get on the 4x4, if you don't know what the 4x1 is, it's four people running 100 meters, and then you pass a baton to the next person, so one person will run 100 meters, run 100 meters, and then pass it, and so on and so forth. Uh, the 4x4 is running a whole lap around the track, which is 400 meters, and then passing it to the next person, and all in all, all four of you run one mile. I mean, a, a cumulative, you know, you each only run a fourth of a mile, but it's a lot of fun. I, the 400 is definitely my favorite race, and I think that like it takes a special person to do the 400. Like if you do the 100, a lot of people that do the 100 do not do the 400 because the 400 is like between endurance and speed. You've got to like find that place that you can be, be in between endurance and speed, and I find it a lot of fun. However, it is a hard race. Uh, it's a lot of fun to do. So anyway, uh, I did make it on that. I I got second uh, place. No, wait, I'll, I'll rephrase that. I got third place by a second, so, uh, well, like, third place, and I almost got second place, but by a second, uh, a kid got first, and then a kid that was in front of the whole time, uh, passed me up and beat me by one second, but it doesn't really matter, they beat me by a second. Uh, it was literally, like, 30 degrees out today, so hopefully, I'm just saying hopefully, uh, when it's warmer out, I might be able to, uh, beat that time, but, uh, I think it was, like, one minute eight seconds but really i mean that's not even a good uh estimate of my time because my left ankle was killing me it was cold and it was it was a pretty rough day 
Actually, in fact, the past couple days at track are just like horrible because it's so cold here. And, uh, anyways. Right there, you see I'm using Ultimate Jutsu and he just screws me over. I thought that I, I blocked, but apparently I threw a kunai and before I could block, it hit me. So, yeah, that happened. Um, anyway, pretty much. That's all I have to say in this video. I, I don't even want to keep on talking because I don't want to be rambling on. You guys are probably like, whoa, well, you already did ramble on this such as Panda. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. Hopefully, uh, I will get some more out during spring break. Probably going out tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, actually, since I have a, a full five days off from school. But maybe tomorrow, maybe some other time. I'm not really sure yet. But anyways... Hopefully I'll see you by the end of spring break. See ya.